Hey, it's Cheryl. Welcome to Homeward Studio. Today I have six DIY ornaments I'd like to share with you. So let's waste no time and get right into the video. So you guys know if you watch my videos, I love birds. So the first ornament is a birdhouse. And here's the pieces you're going to need. A birdhouse from the Dollar Tree. A bird from the Dollar Tree. All these pieces are from the Dollar Tree, I believe, except for the paint. A garland. Odds and ends, berries and twigs and pieces like that. I have some fake snow and some ribbon or string. Some twine. This is package filling. You can get that at the Dollar Tree. Here's some pine cones. Oh, fake snow again. I guess that's important. I must have showed you twice. Um, some glitter spray in the color silver and some Waverly white chalk paint and ink chalk paint as well. So I'm going to be painting this whole entire birdhouse back, front and sides. And hey, today I am participating in a collaboration called the 12 Days of Christmas. Now what this means is that for 12 straight days there will be a different themed craft each day where several crafters will be sharing their themed ideas, including the very talented hosts of this collaboration, Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Amanda from Molly Cole Creations. The links to their channels are in the description box below, as well as the link for today's playlist so you can watch all of the amazing crafters DIY some very cool ornaments. So make sure you check it out if you want some great DIY ornament ideas. Anyway, we are just continuing to paint this and now I'm just taking the black uh, ink chalk paint and I'm just kind of distressing it around the edges, kind of just outlining the whole thing. So it gives it kind of more of a farmhouse feel. I'm putting a little piece, I had a little piece of like a skewer. You can use um, a stick from outside or get a skewer and then um, stain it brown or paint it brown and then hot glue it there. Um, I took this package fill that I had left over from a gift and I just used that. You can use Spanish moss if you want, but I thought this was a little bit different. I take this garland and I cut off two pieces and then I trimmed them way down. And just cut all the sides and I made them very thin and I twisted both of them together just twice just so they would hold together and then I'm just going to hot glue it on the top there and I didn't like the leaves so I put some berries on there that's from my bag of little odds and ends that I've collected throughout the years little pieces that fall off my picks I just throw them in a bag so I had some berries and I added two pine cones, one on the top, one on the bottom. And I had this uh, string and I'm going to make a hanger for the ornament and determine how long you want that to be. And I folded it in half and made a knot at the end and I'm just going to hot glue it right on the back there. And now I made a simple shoelace bow and I'm just going to glue it on the front. And here's the little bird. And before I glue them in, I'm going to spray with this glitter silver spray, which I believe I got from the Dollar Tree a while, a while ago. I didn't want to spray the bird and get it all glittery. And then hot glue the bird in after you're done. And there you have it. Here's the next ornament. It is a snowman, and I also love snowmen, so of course I had to make a snowman ornament too. Here's the pieces you're going to need. I have one of these larger bulbs from the Dollar Tree, and you'll need just one of these. It's a smaller one you can see in comparison. These are the skewers that I used in a previous project a couple videos ago and I just saved the clipped off pieces. You're going to need a chenille stick or a pipe cleaner in the color orange for the nose. 
and some ribbon or string or jute and that's just going to be you know for the hanger for the ornament you'll need some popsicle sticks now I used five of the small ones and one large popsicle stick some buttons and this scarf any scarf will do and these all are from the Dollar Tree again I do not use the beads I do use the Sharpie the black Sharpie I have Waverly ink chalk paint and of course this spr spray excuse me spray glitter in silver again and I have some uh, just different types of embellishments you know leaves and berries and pine cones and bows I don't use all this but I just pull it all together and figure out um, you know what I'm how I'm going to decorate it after I'm done putting it all together so I am taking the smaller ornament is going to be for the head obviously and I'm just kind of eyeballing how big I want that hat to be so five popsicle sticks and then one large one slanted on the side and then I just marked it off where I'm going to cut it so I took my miter shears and I just cut that straight. And then here, I'm just going to cut the bottom off, not the top. And hey, if you are a subscriber, I wanna thank you again. Every time I look at my channel, it's getting bigger and bigger and it's because of you. Thank you so much. Whoops, sorry about that camera. Um, I have a refrigerator story to tell you in a minute but anyway if you are not a subscriber welcome to my channel if you enjoy what you see here give me a big thumbs up like my video comment and also consider subscribing because I do a lot of this DIY and thrift flip stuff anyway back to the video so now I'm just assembling the hat after I cut all the popsicle sticks off at the bottom I hot glued the big popsicle stick up there and now I'm just taking this little sponge thing and painting the entire thing the front and the back and all the sides in black and now I'm going to put the snowman together I'm just going to put the hot glue around where the two ornaments meet that's where the hot glue goes and I took a cup here because the ball kept you know rolling away and now I'm just gluing the top And now I'm going to make a scarf to hide that big gap there in the middle. And I don't use all of it. I'm just rolling it up to kind of see what it's going to look like and how big and thick and long I need it. And then I'm going to cut it off at the spot where I figured that it would be long enough. And then you're going to see I'm just going to roll it up really tight. And then it looks good. Yep. So now I'm going to hot glue it so back to the refrigerator <laughs> my story is our refrigerator was kind of on the fritz anyway and um a drunken person at 4 30 in the morning hit i live in a subdivision hit a pole and downed the wire and everything started arcing and guess what happened <laughs> it blew our refrigerator so we went to the appliance store and i came home with a new refrigerator the one that you saw there and in my previous video you probably saw it and um, a new dishwasher because ours wasn't working well and also a new microwave that he threw in the deal for like 200 bucks so yeah I feel like I have a new kitchen anyway that's my story so back to the video um, it's obvious what I've done here I've just glued the scarf around um, the neck to hide that big open gap there and then just don't glue it on the sides because we're going to put the sticks under the sides for the hands and um, determine where the front is going to be and make sure if that ornament has a crease in it that it's not going right through the front of you know the face so now I figured mm, I just don't really like how that scarf looks so I took this chenille yarn that I had in my stash which is also from the Dollar Tree and I just wrapped it around my hand my two fingers like four no not four times like 12 times and then I um, so it was a you know a loop of 12 and then I tied it off on the top 
and then now I'm just cutting all the loops and then trimming it off to the length that I like it. And here's those skewers that I stained with antique in a previous project and I'm going to take those and make hands out of them. So two of the longer ones and I want to say they're about five inches long and then the little teeny ones are not even an inch long. So I'm making a little hand here, a little arm with a little hand and you don't want them exactly the same on both sides and I'm just putting them on a silicone mat because you can pick them up when it's dry. So glue them right at the very tip there where the sticks meet together and then let that dry really well and then you can pick them right up from that mat which you can also get from the Dollar Tree which I highly recommend. I love that thing. And then I took some chenille um, from the yarn chenille that I used earlier and I just wrapped it around the like the wrist I want to say so it hides that glue and then I also took and wrapped it around the hat and then I just determined where I wanted the hat to go and I hot glued that on simple simple and then I tucked the little arms underneath the scarf and I hot glued that in both on both sides And then when you're done, he kept rolling, so I had to put a towel under him. And then when you're done, um, go ahead and finish hot gluing the rest of the um, scarf around the guy. I determined where the middle was, and I just put a little two little eyeballs on with a Sharpie. I was going to use beads, but I like the Sharpie better. And then I took this chenille stick, and it's probably not even an inch on both sides. Just fold it in half, cut it, kind of form it into a carrot-shaped nose. And I glued that on there. And then I got a couple buttons. I glued the buttons on. And now it's time to embellish the hat. So I had this little piece that was in my stash there. And I just glued that on and of course a little pine cone and now I'm going to make a hanger for it so I took some jute determine how long you'd like it to be mine's pretty long we're gonna put it right underneath the back of the scarf there and if you've already glued it on it's okay just kind of push it in under there as best as you can and we're going to glue it right up the middle, the back of the snowman's head. And then we're going to glue it right up onto the top of the hat. And that's just to give it some stability so it just doesn't flop everywhere. And there you have it. Isn't he cute? I love snowmen. Matter of fact, I have a whole snowman tree. It's a small tree, but I, it's just decorated entirely with snowmen. And here is the third ornament. Super easy. This is really quick and easy, all from the Dollar Tree. You need these icicles. Now you can use the clear ones. I couldn't find my clear ones, which I wanted to use, but the fuzzy ones are good. You'll need some ornaments like this. And then this is vase filler. It looks like little diamonds. And then some, oh, I don't know if you can get this from the Dollar Tree, but this is just a uh, fishing net, fishing line. Yeah. And then this is silver ribbon. So I clipped off all of the little hangers on these. And then I put the thick end on top and the thick end on the bottom. Made a diamond and hot glued the top first and then the bottom and then glue the sides together and you can put a little bit more glue 
on there because we're going to cover it up with that little rhinestone base filler diamond thing. So I took some fishing line and I put it through the hole on top of this little snowflake, the crystal looking snowflake, and then I tied it onto or glued it onto the top of the diamond here. And I took some of the silver, I don't know, it's kind of like a ropey type ribbon. And I made a loop and I glued that on top. And now I'm just putting these little diamonds on all of the corners. It's hard to see, but it this is really pretty, really elegant. You can make a bunch of these and put them on your tree. I think it would be very beautiful. And that's what it looks like. And here's the next one, another snowman. And here's what you're going to need. Now I have this heart type piece from the Dollar Tree. It's ceramic. Had a bunch of them from last year. I didn't know what to do with them, so I thought hm, I'll make a Christmas ornament. And uh, I like this Santa Claus, but you can use any napkin that you like. And you're going to need some tape and some Mod Podge. and some saran wrap or cellophane, and then this gold pen, not a chalk pen, but a gold marker, and that's all from the Dollar Tree. I don't know where I got the napkins from, but um, probably like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Now put a piece of tape on the end, this is three ply, and you're gonna have to peel off all of the um, napkins. So a piece of tape, and I did that twice, and it comes right off, but just pull gently. Now I put a, a thin layer of Mod Podge on the ceramic heart and now I'm just placing that napkin and very, very carefully you want to kind of place it down and tap it and then scrunch up the saran wrap and then push it down to get all of the creases and the bubbles out. Now when it's completely dry, then you can take a sanding block or a piece of sandpaper and just sand off all the edges and now I have this little poker thing from the Dollar Tree and I'm just you know getting all the um, paper and the glue out of those little holes that we're gonna put the hanger back in and that's what it looks like I didn't uh, film the part where I put the hanger back in but you know it's it's obvious um, now here's the last two ornaments we're going to make. And these are just the wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. So I have two of those because I'm going to make two of them because I want to hang these on my tree. I have a rustic tree too. I love Christmas and I decorate like every room has a different theme. Yeah, it's a lot of work but it's so worth it at the end. Um, I have these um, stencils from Amazon. I have some fake snow, some twine, and then Waverly Antique, and then Waverly White Chalk Paint. Um, this is um, Folk Art Chalk Paint in green. I have Pixie Spray, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And yes, my spray glitter, which I love. Now I'm painting these in the antique, and, um, I, and then wiping it off with a baby wipe. I don't recommend this. I would probably paint it in anything other than that because it takes a long time to dry and I just don't think that it adheres real well the paint and it's hard to stencil on it. It worked fine but you'll see it's a little bit dark. So now after I put the um, antique on it and let it dry, I just put the pixie spray. I got it from Amazon. It kind of holds the stencil on so it doesn't move around. And then I just stenciled this let it snow with the white and with the green and let that dry and now I'm going to do the second one and this is just Merry Christmas and it has um, I put that uh, I painted that in uh, red and then I put, painted the berries in red and obviously the holly in the green and now I'm spraying my glitter on top of that it takes a while for that to dry and now that this is dry, I'm just tipping the ends in the little bit in the middle of these trees with white to make it look like snow.
And when that's dry, turn it over, find the middle, take some twine. Or you could put ribbon on here or any kind of string. Dollar Tree has a really cool baker string too. And then now I'm taking hot glue and running it around the edge and I'm putting this fake snow, which is also from the Dollar Tree. All around the edge like this. And here's what they look like. I think they turned out really pretty, very rustic. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for spending time with me. Uh, one more time, I wanna thank uh, Rustic and Lace DIYs and Molly Cole Creations for hosting this. Have a blessed week, a blessed day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.